Continuing weather alert day coverage as we're going to be tracking our first real heat wave of the summer here as we're headed into the next couple of days. Friday through Sunday is officially when we have the storm track weather alert day, but we may even extend that into Monday. That'll be dependent on if we can get some storms to kind of cool us off into the beginning of the next week. The obvious impacts are going to be the dangerous afternoon heat. So once you get past noon or one o'clock each day over the next several days, that's when we're really going to be tracking uh, the true dangers of uh, this heat as it moves in. Of course, staying hydrated, wearing sunscreen, and limiting your time outdoors is certainly going to be uh, advised here as we're headed into the next couple of days. This afternoon, though, things are all, all good. Temperatures right around 83 degrees at the Lake of the Ozarks, running into partly cloudy skies. And in general, we're going to be seeing an increase in cloud cover as we're headed throughout the rest of this afternoon as a weak little storm system is moving through southern Kansas right now. The rainfall from that is drying up, but we'll certainly see a little bit of that cloud cover move into the region where we should be under partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the rest of this afternoon. We'll hold on to those partly cloudy skies overnight tonight, but those winds will start to turn out of the south. That will allow for some warmer temperatures to dig back into the region, and that's going to allow for more moisture to build into the atmosphere. And what that will lead to is obviously those higher heat index values. So while we'll see air temperatures right around 90, 91 degrees tomorrow afternoon, with all of that extra humidity, our bodies can't cool down as efficiently, and that will lead to those heat index values that are pretty close to 100 degrees. And then we really turn on the burners as we head into the weekend. We're into the uh, upper 90s for air temperatures, and we'll be feeling like anywhere between 102 to 106 degrees as we're headed throughout much of this weekend. There is some good news in sight. This isn't totally a doom and gloom forecast. That area of high pressure that's going to be keeping us warm over the next couple of days, that will expand northward for Saturday and Sunday, leading to those temperatures into the upper 90s. But then a cold front looks to sweep through as we're headed into Tuesday and especially Wednesday of next week. That's likely going to increase our thunderstorm chances and push that area of high pressure off to the south, leading to some cooler temperatures. As you can see here in the seven day forecast, back into the lower 90s and eventually probably into the 80s as we're headed into Thursday and Friday of next week, leading to cooler temperatures into next weekend.